Ready? Hey everybody, we are out here in the Atlantic Beach Country Club neighborhood and uh, we just wanted to show you a, a very modest project that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do on a small budget. It's a very nice neighborhood, the homes are absolutely beautiful, but most of the plantings are extremely green. One of the goals here was to add some additional color and interest such that um, the homeowners were a little bit happier when they come home to see a house that's bright and cheery rather than just all green. So we did a few different additions, not tremendously complicated and not over the top. And then we addressed a couple of drainage issues along the way and very simply incorporated some, some rock and some muddy areas to help with, with uh, mud traffic. Homeowner has some existing blue days, which is doing very well and a pygmy date palm. In front of this ligustrum off to my right, we've got some additional new blue days in the foreground, which when they grow in next spring will tie in nicely. And then we repeated them over on the far right side when we get around to the house and we added another pygmy date palm that ties in with this one right in front. This is an area where the gutters don't handle the water and so what happens is this tended to wash out all the time and you really can't do much with it. So we added stone, which will help create some friction and slow down the flow of water here and keep this area much cleaner. The yellow bushes in the back were existing, but the previous landscape project had, had incorporated about a million and maybe a million and a half of them. So we removed some of those and then we worked with that yellow as our background. In the corners here we've got some Tibuccina. It's got a very vibrant purple color, pairs super nicely with the sunshine ligustrum. We've also incorporated some salvia which will bloom most of the year. And then we've got another line of some yellow with some yellow bulbine. We've got some red pentas we're reasonably close to the ocean, so we very rarely get a freeze over here. So those pentas, even though they are technically an annual, may well prove to be perennial in this location. As I mentioned, we have the blue days. We came back with, with some more of the tibuccina on this end. We took out a bunch of the yellow sunshine ligustrum, added some dwarf firebush, and we added some red sister tie plants, which contrasts real nicely with the yellow of that sunshine ligustrum. So we've got a lot of color going on up here now that originally we just had essentially a little bit of blue days and the rest of it was pretty much green. The iris was doing very well and what we did was we thinned it out and then we had an area where the rosemary wasn't doing well. So we just kind of robbed Peter to pay Paul and we extended the iris and again, over on the side where nobody sees it, it's kind of a nice way to extend the landscape and not have to spend really any money on it. We had a little bit of a bare spot back here and we just did some uh, blueberry flax for a little bit of uh, pop with everything being green. So we've got uh, some, some bright variegated foliage back here. We had another issue with mud. And so there's an entryway to the patio and this was all just kind of a big mud pit. And again, I think it's a combination that the gutters on the house couldn't handle the flow. So we stone this area. Um, we encompass where the downspout comes down. So this will stay a lot cleaner. And we had a downspout that was dumping into a mulch area and was washing this out. And then rather than doing stone in this situation, we actually did a buried drain line with a uh, drain box at the end of it. So the water will come out of this slowly and not wash out. And we've got some fern that we cleaned the tops off of. They were a little bit worn from the summer, but the underneath was looking very good. We had some liriope, we had some gaps, and then we took the liriope that was around in the front yard front of those sunshine ligustrum and then transplanted them to fill this in. As we work up to the front now, you'll see the uh, pygmy date palm that we, uh, we introduced and then the additional blue days that we put in. I think that as it grows in will, will anchor quite nicely with, with the original pygmy date palm that they had in the front yard. We did some blue days, they had some existing agapanthus and then as you know, 
the birds know where all of the good places are, so they are now proud to show up at a yard where there's a bunch of color. They seem to blend in quite well with the color. We did a pot over at the front of the house here at the entryway with the idea being that you could do seasonal color. When we redid the irrigation, we incorporated a sprinkler system that feeds that pot, so it takes away the maintenance part of having to water the pot daily. You know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel always. You may well have the backbones for starting a project, and then just enhancing what you have, you might find out that you can do something for a quite reasonable budget and actually really enhance the look of your house in the long run.